how we were able to get 19 items deleted off a client's credit report. 12 of them came back in that same cycle and what we plan to do about it and how it's still a great benefit to the client. What up? You got Mr. Smith, 0.5 of Mr. and Mrs. Smith. And in this brief video, I'm going to go over a scenario of a, a client of ours. And I'm not sure how good you can see this. Of course, I can't show you everything for protection of that person's information. But got 19 items deleted, 12 came back. And that's what's showing is added. But their score increased across the board, 98 points so their score still increased 98 points across the board which you know was a great thing they were excited they sent a, a funny gift in response to these results that took place in that short window now what i got you to, what i got to get you to understand don't feel bad if things come back on your credit report now if you don't already know we help people restore their credit in a way that allows them to focus on all five factors not just one a lot of times people only focus on a couple of different things pertaining to their credit but you want to focus on all Five. So this particular client decided that they wanted to hire us. And this is the first round of the actual disputes that took place and led to the 19 deletions and everything that we're about to go over in this video. So if you're interested in our services and us assisting you along your journey, set up the free consultation. But nonetheless, hopefully this video gives you something that if you're doing it yourself, you can take it and run with it. Also, if you're interested in doing it yourself, we also have a system that you can use that can kind of shorten your learning curve. So however you want to do it, whether you want to do it yourself or the way you want to hire some help, we got you either way. So how were we able to get 19 items deleted from this client's credit report well this is how it all started i looked at things that were on their profile from the beginning and i noticed some discrepancies i noticed some inaccuracies i noticed some things that wasn't updated starting with some of their personal information so the personal information was an area that i targeted to get updated i wanted to update some of the personal information with the credit bureaus due to the fact that it wasn't showing up in a way that i wanted it to show up on their profile because if you don't have your personal information updated appropriately, sometimes it can hurt your credit and it can keep certain things from being deleted off of your report. It just all varies. So that being said, I wanted to get that updated first and foremost. Once I went through that process, that's when I went ahead and initiated the first round of disputes letters, basically going through all of those items that got deleted and having them to verify the items that they were posting on their system. So basically, a lot of times things may show up on your report, but they have to verify that it belongs to you because it's some things that they may have in their records that don't line up with you, that don't match up to you, that may not very well be you at all. So they need to verify. They have the burden of proof to basically prove that that item belongs to you. If they cannot prove it, they have to remove it. So it was a whole list of things that were inaccurate that I said, hey, you know, verify these items, verify, 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 using the verification letters and send it out to the bureaus. And once that verification letter was sent out to the bureaus, they have to go through the process of verifying it. And they typically have a certain time frame in order to verify. And then after they verify or not, then a result takes place. In this case, after the verification letters were sent out, verify account, 19 items got deleted. But when I saw the 19 items got deleted, I also saw that 12 items were added. So I'm like, okay, let me look at these 12 items. So I'm looking at the 12 items and I noticed, oh, these are some of the ones that got deleted. They just reposted in a different way. Now, collections tend to do that sometimes. They can, you know, for different reasons. However, that doesn't mean they have to stay there. Sometimes when things get added back, a person feels some type of way. And I get it. You want it to be deleted for once and for all. I totally get it. But sometimes it can come back. And if it does, you just got to know how to fire back off. Now, this client was able to get their score increased over 98 or 98 points across the board. However, after that, I also went into another round of disputes to dispute those 12 items that came back because they unlawfully reinserted those items back into that person's credit report. So since they did that unlawfully, if they abide and govern themselves accordingly, 
then they need to get those things deleted as well. So just keep that in mind. Sometimes when they add things back onto your report, they did it unlawfully. It's a certain guideline, a certain thing that they have to do in order to add that back on your report. If they don't do it, then you can hit them with a, a you know, pretty much a, a reinsertion or unlawful reinsertion letter that allows you to contest them putting that back on the credit report. So that's it in a nutshell for this video. I just want you to see the flow of an exact scenario with the client, what we did, the storyline behind it, and what we did to follow up behind those things. So that way we can make sure that the client is still making ongoing progress so hopefully you got some value out of this if you would like our assistance in any way reach out let us know or set up your consultation if you want the diy you know what to do as well but if you just want to take our nuggets and run with it then do that as well we salute you mr smith signing out